Baby Duff and the Bad Eyeglasses by Amy Hest, illustrated by Jill Barton. Now it's time to hear the story. Click on the green arrow when you want to go to the next page. Click on me if you want the pages to turn by themselves. Baby Duck was looking in the mirror. She was sizing up her new eyeglasses. They were too big on her baby face. They pushed against her baby cheeks, and she did not look like baby. Baby came slowly down the stairs. Park time," said Mr. Duck. "Grandpa will be waiting in his boat at the lake." How sweet you look in your new eyeglasses," cooed Mrs. Duck. "Don't you love them?" "No," Baby said. How well you must see in your new eyeglasses," clucked Mister Duck. "Don't you like them? Just a little?" "No," Baby said. The Duck family filed out the front door. Mister and Missus Duck hopped along. Hop down the lane, baby. Baby did not hop. Her glasses might fall off. Mr. and Mrs. Duck danced along. Dance down the lane, baby. Baby did not dance. Her glasses might fall off. When they got to the park, baby sat in the grass behind a tree. She sang a little song. Poor baby, she looks ugly in her bad eyeglasses. Everyone can play but me. Poor, 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 poor baby. Grandpa came up the hill. Where's that baby? He called. I'm afraid she is hiding," Mrs. Duck sighed. "She does not like her new eyeglasses," worried Mr. Duck. Grandpa sat in the grass behind the tree. "I like your hiding place," he whispered. "Thank you," Baby said. Grandpa peeked around the side of the tree. "I see new eyeglasses," he whispered. "Are they blue?" "No," Baby said. "Green," 
Grandpa whispered. No, Baby said. Coco Brown? Grandpa whispered. Baby came out from behind the tree. Grandpa folded his arms. Well, he said, I think those eyeglasses are very fine. Why? Baby asked. Because they are red like mine. Grandpa said. Grandpa kissed Baby's cheek. Can you still run into the lake and splash around? Baby ran and splashed. Then she splashed harder. glasses did not fall off. Can you still twirl three times without falling down? Baby twirled one. Two, three, she did not fall down and her glasses did not fall off. Come with me, baby. I have a surprise, Grandpa said. They walked down to the pier. Grandpa's boat was bobbing on the water. There was another boat, too. Can you read what it says? Grandpa asked. Baby read, B, A, B, Y. The letters were very clear. <laughs> then Grandpa and Mr. and Mrs. Duck sat in Grandpa's boat. But Baby sat in her bow, and she sang a new song. I have nice new eyeglasses. I look like my grandpa. My rowboat is lots of fun, and I can read my name on it.